afternoon this is the uh, latest video update on uh, two severe tropical storms that we were watching right now we have Saula and Damri today is the 2nd of August and this is our latest afternoon update we begin with the severe tropical storm Saula or Bagyong Hener uh, as it continues to track just east of uh, Taiwan it's actually made landfall uh, early last night across the eastern part of Taiwan it has weakened since and is now a severe tropical storm was last located approximately 50 kilometers east of uh, Taipei, Taiwan, which is right over here, or about 500 kilometers north of Basco Batanes. Maximum sustained winds are now down to 95 kph with gusts of up to 130, according to the latest warning from JMA. JTWC currently actually has lower winds of around uh, 85 kilometers per hour. Uh, Sal is currently moving northward, so it's, uh, it has started moving to the north and has also accelerated just a little bit now moving at 20 kilometers per hour the latest uh, visible image you can see here that the system no longer re uh, has that uh, strong look that very symmetrical look the circulation center is actually partially exposed and much of the high clouds uh, are now uh, situated across the uh, island of Taiwan current warnings this is uh, so of 11 a.m. actually from Pagasa we still have signal number one up for Babuyan Islands but as uh, Saola moves uh, away from the Philippine Air Responsibility uh, later tonight, we expect those signal warnings to be uh, to be finally dropped. Meanwhile, we still have typhoon warnings for uh, Taiwan across many counties there, and China also issuing orange alert not only for Saola which and also but also for uh, Damri, which we'll also be talking about in later in our video. JMA also showing uh, uh, still having highway warnings for Ishikajima and Miyakojima. They have dropped storm warnings but still has uh, gale advisories for strong winds the as I said the uh, the typhoon made landfall uh, last night around um, 2 30 a.m. Taiwan time across the um, eastern coast of uh, Hualien County just uh, Hualien or between Hualien and uh, Yilan County uh, last night is a very strong typhoon you can see in this latest ra uh, this radar image right before it made landfall that symmetrical eye uh, very menacing. It actually contracted just a little bit um, hours before. This really had a uh, uh, large eye look, but has seen weekend as it uh, tracks inland. And the latest infrared image again showing you that system has really degraded in the past 12 hours after making landfall. Much of the convection now remaining o uh, over Taiwan, and the system does look asymmetrical as of right now. Uh, also, the radar image from uh, Central Weather Bureau confirming the uh, the um, bands of rain still uh, remaining over Taiwan particularly some very heavy returns right over the central region mountainous regions remember um, with uh, with Taiwan's topography uh, exacerbating the threat of landslides and even flooding in many areas uh, precipitation actually the um, latest now we have around 300 to even 600 millimeters of rain in the past 24 hours um, so far in many areas here in Taiwan, especially again as I said along the central region uh, of the country uh, due to the slow movement of the storm and again the convection remaining within the country expect more rains to, to fall tonight and into tomorrow we could possibly see some areas uh, reaching 1000 millimeters of rain uh, today and into tomorrow so very very serious uh, threat for Taiwan even though Saula has weakened to a tropical storm. Now the system will continue moving northward and eventually make a turn to the northwest, eventually making landfall here in Fujian province uh, early tomorrow morning as a tropical storm. Even though it is moving over the open waters again, we no longer expect the system to uh, intensify into a typhoon. Um, but again, uh, Saula uh, will bring the threat of strong winds and rough waves across coastal areas and also uh, some very heavy rain across the uh, Fujian province, province and also uh, the southeastern China as a, as a whole there so um, still some big threat that that is why we have orange alert now up for uh, many parts in China. Now moving on to the other tropical system we have severe tropical storm Damri which is now uh, inching closer towards making landfall here in eastern China it was last located approximately 320 kilometers north of Shanghai which is right over here 
or about 150 kilometers northeast of uh, the city of Yancheng in, uh, in the province of uh, Jiangsu. Uh, maximum sustainment right now at is at 110 kilometers per hour with gusts of up to 155 according to JMA. JDWC s has a s slightly higher winds uh, of around um, 140 kilometers per hour. They are actually um, upgraded the system to a typhoon and uh, par frankly looking at the satellite image uh, I do think the system is quite stronger than what JMA is assessing right now. It has that very symmetrical eye um, and look very very menacing look on the on the satellite, very symmetrical again with the dense uh, cloud cover surrounding the eye there. And the system is currently moving west northwestward at 35 kilometers per hour. So expect landfall uh, in, in about two to three hours. Um, as I said, the system uh, does look uh, s strong on satellite, and this is um, proven here as well on the on the microwave image that uh, strong eye wall being picked up by the satellite. Yes, although it has slightly weakened in the past six hours with the left uh, left side of the eye wall is now starting to open and also the latest infrared image showing you the warm warming of cloud tops particularly on the southern side of the storm so th so then is now starting to um, to get uh, broken apart starting to weaken but uh, will still likely bring strong winds across the coastal areas so here in eastern China as I said making landfall in Jiangsu province in about two to three hours um, the radar from uh, China now beginning to pick up the eye of the storm and a very strong look, a strong signature and radar showing you the um, eye wall very uh, very much uh, still established here bringing uh, the threat of strong rains but uh, thankfully the system is quite quite fast again moving at 35 kilometers per hour so we're not really expecting the same rainfall amounts as we are seeing right now in Taiwan Still, some areas could still pick up some some uh, some heavy rains, especially as the inner uh, the as the outer and inner bands of rain move through uh, tonight. Probably around 100 km uh, 100 millimeters of rain uh, in some areas here. Uh, the current forecast right now is the system to move uh, west northwestward, eventually turn more to the uh, northwest into uh, Shandong Province here, uh, probably passing uh, well. Uh, south of uh, Beijing and probably making uh, its closest pass tomorrow but by then it will be a uh, really weak tropical depression but still bring threat of um, heavy rains in this region so we continue to monitor uh, the developments of that as well but as I said uh, brace for uh, in the uh, immediate uh, the eventual landfall here in about uh, two to three hours Moving on to the other system, we now have three, si three systems being watched today. We have this last one, Invest 99W, which is actually already a tropical depression according to JMA. This is located um, approximately 360 kilometers southeast of Iwata, Japan, or about 950 kilometers north northwest of Guam. You can see it here, but the central circulation is partially obscured here in the cloud cover, but it's, uh, it is somewhat elongated, and as you can see, the much of the convection is sheared to the east and to the south of the system. There is some pretty strong wind shear around here, 20 to 30 knots, uh, blocking the system from, from intensifying. But we are expecting this system to become uh, a storm in the next two to three days. Uh, computer models in very good agreement with regards to that uh, development. And, uh, and even track, we have here one model here um, showing GFS and symbol forecast actually, symbol forecast, so showing you the different uh, potential tracks of the system and the green line here shows the mean uh, track or the consensus basically and uh, which predicts a gradual west northwestward movement and uh, making a sharp turn to the east by next week. Computer mo most computer models are showing this um, a general scenario playing out in the next few days. Most of the models are keeping the system at tropical storm strength but we will continue to um, to keep watch on this system. Finally, we take a look at the Western Pacific Basin and we continue to watch Damri now making landfall and also Saola moving just northeast of type, uh, Taipei, Taiwan. And also again the system uh, continues to en enhance southwest monsoon which is gradually lifting to the north now mainly affecting the western parts of northern Luzon although Manila, Manila is still seeing some strong winds 
and some occasional light rains but uh, we, we could see improving weather in the next few days as again the southwest monsoon uh, moves northward and as Saola uh, weakens and dissipates in about two to three days expect the southwest monsoon to um, really uh, take a back seat for now. Um, Visayas and Mindanao um, seeing less showers mainly because of the, again, the coverage of the southwest monsoon now slowly inching to the north. We take a look at the, cent uh, the central part of the western Pacific Basin right around the Marianas Islands we see this huge uh, plume of moisture basically extending from uh, from the Philippine Sea all the way towards uh, probably around Wake Island here. Uh, this is a, a, a monsoon trough ba basically and computer models are um, hinting of not just one but two or even three uh, tropical cyclones forming in the next week or so so we will continue to keep watch and this is some again this is 99W which is expected to become a depression in the next 24 hours by GTWC so um, it could be heading into a potentially active um, week here in the western pacific but as of right now the main story is Damri and also Saola continue to monitor your uh, country's weather bureau especially in Taiwan CWB and also China CMA for this forecast and warnings in your respective areas and also we will continue um, giving uh, updates tonight and into tomorrow as we monitor the systems making their respective landfalls but that is the uh, video update for today stay safe guys bye